G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, today I'm going to be reacting to the Steve Smith press conference. I've seen it once before, but I was at a mate's place and didn't really um, take a whole heap of notice to it. So right now I'm going to sit down by myself in the safety of my own home and give it a watch. Bloody Smithy. To all of my teammates, to fans of cricket all over the world, and to all Australians who are disappointed and angry, I'm sorry. Pretty brave to front up like this. What happened in Cape Town has already been laid out by Cricket Australia. Tonight, I want to make clear that as captain of the Australian cricket team, I take full responsibility. I made a serious error of judgment and I now understand the consequences. Serious error of judgment. Um, I'm pretty sure he doesn't quite get into it in this press conference, but I just... Why did they think to do it? Like, <laughs> and we want to know who's done it. That's the other thing. Like, we know Bancroft's obviously the one that's that was had the ball in the hand and the sandpaper, but there's rumours that Dave Warner orchestrated this whole thing. There hasn't been too much talk whether Steve Smith was fully involved. Maybe he was, but he's sort of gone down with this with the sinking ship. But yeah, there's talks that it was Dave Warner's like full plan and got Bancroft to do it, but I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it's like, we want to know what's actually happened. And it's a bit weird how Dave Warner hasn't fronted up like this either. Bancroft and Stevie Smith fronted up, and Dave Warner says, you know, he'll speak publicly in a couple of days. It's a bit weird that he hasn't just, I don't know, done what Smithy's done and just faced the music. I'll do everything I can to make up for my mistake and the damage it's caused. Brutal. If any good can come of this, if it can be a lesson to others, then I hope I can be a force for change. Come on, Smithy. Sure, sure. I regret this for the rest of my life. I'm absolutely gutted. I hope in time I can earn back respect and forgiveness. He's already earning back respect, I reckon. I reckon just by facing the music, fronting up, being honest. Like, he's not a bad bloke. You can pretty much tell that he's not a bad bloke. He's very, very sorry for what he's done. It's not the ball tampering thing that was the bad part. It was the cheating aspect. Like, they went out to cheat, and that just doesn't sit well with Australians at all. But you can tell that he's not a bad bloke, and it's pretty hard to watch him. Can't, Smithy. Get through it, mate. I've been so privileged and honoured to represent my country and captain the Australian cricket team. Cricket is the greatest game in the world. It's been my life, and I hope it can be again. I'm sorry, and I'm absolutely devastated. In a little second, another thing that caused a lot of controversy at this press conference, there was a radio stunt that took place. Kyle and Jackie O, one of their producers' name is Intern Pete. He does a lot of stuff behind the scenes at KISS 101 up in Sydney, but he does a lot of stuff for Kyle and Jackie O for their show. So he got sent to this press conference and he thought it would be funny to ask a question. Well, not ask a question, but sort of make like a weird statement. Um, yeah, and this was it. Steve, uh, I'm going to take a different tack on this. My name's Intern Pete from the Carl and Jackie O Show here, mate. I want to let you know on from the perspective from non-sports community and Australians, to see you upset tonight is very sad. We asked our listeners, as I said, we're not a sports show. We asked our listeners what we thought about this. And we have, uh, we opened up to them. And, mate, I've got to tell you, hold your head high for a little bit for what you have done, because what, what's actually been worse is what Davina and D Dean did on Meredith. Thank you. Next you know question. Like, uh, like, the bloke's absolutely gutted. Like the worst week of his life, and in turn Pete's gone up and sort of made a little joke about Married at First Sight. It's a bit, I don't know, read the room, Pete. Read the bloody room, mate. I love the game of cricket. I, I love entertaining young kids. I love kids wanting to play the great game of cricket um, that I love. Um, the two other things is any time you think about making a, a questionable decision, think about who you're affecting, you're affecting your parents and to yeah. see the way my old man's been. 
questions. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody. And Thank my you. mom, it's it hurts. And uh, and I can't remember what else. Yeah, but you. it's yeah. Uh, I just want to say I'm sorry and for the pain that I've. I guess brought to Australia and, and the fans and the public it's it's devastating and I'm truly sorry. Well done Stevie Smith. Well done Stevie Smith. What an honestly gutsy thing to do. That wouldn't have been easy in the slightest and you can tell the genuine um, emotion and just disappointment on his face. I think that's one of the best things I've seen Steve Smith do, and I think that sort of sums him up as a leader. Um, tough press conference to watch. The one that'll be interesting to watch is Davey Warner's, um, to see what he has to say. But I'm going to leave that one there, guys. I want to say I appreciate you guys watching this. Um, I appreciate all the support on the last few videos. It's actually been, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy. I'll see you around very soon for something random, silly, and funny. Um, yeah. I'll see you around soon. We love you, Stevie Smith.